Happy Friday to you. One of the problems that we have living in a secular culture is that we don't know what to do with suffering. Because suffering has no real purpose or point in a secular culture, we just want to eliminate it. We want programs and strategies and initiatives to try to dispense with all suffering. Now, heaven is going to be a place without suffering. Praise the Lord. But while we're here on earth, we're going to experience difficult things. As believers, we understand why suffering exists. And we also understand that there's purpose to it. Part of the purpose of suffering is discipline. God uses our suffering to train us, to teach us, and sometimes, frankly, to punish us. Now, not all suffering is discipline, and not all suffering is for punishment, but some of it is. Some suffering needs to be responded to with growth, and some suffering needs to be responded to with grief. As a church and as a fellowship of believers, as a community, we're supposed to help each other sort that out. Now, in Hebrews chapter 12, we're going to take a look at this subject of suffering as it relates to discipline. I hope you'll be able to join us this week, either in person or online, as we consider this important subject for the believer's life with Christ. God bless.